Ben and Jason, it's time to engage in... Mortal Kombat! Yeah, Mortal Kombat 11. I knew uh, he was gonna say that. But I'm glad I didn't have to. Wait, That's why are you I'm fighting the quiet man, Jeff? I'm beating up this mime. This ninja mime. Johnny Ooh, Cage. Johnny Cage? That's a sick outfit. Speaking of sick outfits, you're wearing some... What? That's not Scorpion? That's Scorpion. That ain't Scorpion. Look, you see, he's got a spear and everything. Finish him! Alright, give him a finisher. Alright. Holy... See? The spear with the scorpion and the oh, hell with the scorpion. God, that would suck. Now there are two of them. Oh, yay. This is the kind of fatality I can get down with. That was cool as hell. That was cool as hell. Yeah. This game's pretty good. Uh, it's, uh... I'm gonna say it is unsurprising in terms of modes and the sort of things that are in it if you've been playing Nether Realms games for a while. We got a crypt. Uh, we got oh yeah. towers. We'll show the crypt because the crypt is actually really cool. Uh, it is, it is, there's way more going on. Yeah. Um, um, or, or they've, they've found like a, you know, there is, it's a more elaborate kind of runaround thing. Um, Let's see. Gosh. So I, there are still characters I haven't played as. We we kind of just got this in a little bit ago, and, mm -hmm. and I've been... Yeah, we haven't had much, much time uh, with it. But. Uh, getting into the story. Yeah, you want to jump in and yeah. do some fighting here? we got another controller if you want to. Press the X button. Yeah, it's going to... Oh, well. Oh, boy. It's okay. going to let you be a guest. I wish I could be a guest. Play as a guest. There we go. Do not sign in. No, go ahead and go through the whole signing process. Yeah. Oh, Great. okay. All right. Okay, and then you've got to set me to opponent's height. Yeah, you, oh, no, no, you just need to hit X. There we go, okay. All right, who do we got? Who, who do we run, got? run down the favorites. Who do, like, we got Johnny, Johnny Cage. Cage. We got Sonya. Uh -huh. Sonya Blade? We got Cassie yeah. Cage. Cassie Cage. Johnny Cage. Mm -hmm. The whole family is here. We got Scorpion. Yeah. We got You got Jax. Jax, you got Scorpion. Do we have Nighthawk? No, no. Not, that is not a Mortal Kombat character. Who's Night Wolf? Night Wolf. Night Wolf. Uh, oh, okay. Even Devorah from the last game. Wow. Yeah. No Night Wolf. Karen Black is and back. The yeah. Collector. Oh, yeah, these are, are these the new characters? Yeah, new characters. Here? Collector. Uh, Garrus and uh, Cetrion. Uh, we got Frost up top. Next to that is Shao Kahn. Who's uh, Frost? Is that like Sub Zero's daughter? It's like an Ice Lady. I, I, there's no, I don't think. Huh. She's part she of the Lin Kuei. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. Okay. And there's Shao Kahn. Yeah, and the game's not quite out. That's uh, Sub Zero's clan. Okay. Yeah. Quay. Um, He's one of the new. Oh no, Scarlet's not new, is she? Scarlet's not. Scarlet was a DLC in MK9. Okay. But uh, Scarlet. give her a shot. Yeah. She's got a knife. All right. So we got a couple different variations. Yeah, those are the defaults. I haven't, yeah. I haven't created uh, variants for every character. That's fine. Um, and uh, I've really only been sticking with the, the default stuff, but I started making a couple, you know, new, mm -hmm. like, uh, my own like loadouts. I like that you can name them. Yes, yeah, and, and that, that is shown online, which I think is funny. Um, she turned her blood dagger into a blood sword. Uh, yep. Yeah. It will give me the dragon fire. Sounds like wishful thinking, Scarlet. What? What happened to him? He's a revenant. What does that mean? He's dead. Oh. I feel like Liu Kang has been dead and undead and not dead and all this other stuff like a, a bunch of times over the course of this series. Ooh. Ooh. Has he always had nunchucks? Uh, no. Okay. But it's not the first time he's had those either. Oh. Oh. Oops. I Ooh. tried to jump away from that. Yeah. And that didn't work. Well, that was your mortal fatal, fatal blow. Fatal blow yeah. there. Yeah. When you get below, I think it's 30-ish percent health. Is it where the health bar turns from skinny to thick? Probably. Uh, and that's just with the two L buttons, yep. right? Yeah, that's, uh, or no, it's, uh, it's L2 and R2. Oh, yeah. Shoulder buttons. Yeah. And then uh, in terms of meter, we're working with Two different types, it looks like, in the bottom there. An offensive and a defensive. Uh, what can you do with those? Um, I can... Hmm. It's just not you can probably, easy to tell you that while he's just kicking my ass over. Sure, around. you can probably enhance some moves, right? Yep. Uh, if you hit R1 That's after. right, if I... I'll let you do it. Land that, there and you then go. hit R1 after it, uh, it'll do it. And okay. then the bicycle kick, you can extend the length. You can actually burn both blocks of your oh. offensive meter on the bicycle kick if you just keep, keep hitting the amplify huh. button, which is fun. Does it just keep going? Yeah, it just kind of goes for a super That's long time. cool. 
um, which is funny. And then in defense, I'm assuming there's a combo breaker. Yeah, so it's uh, it's a little different than they've done in the past. Uh, because basically anytime you're being juggled, you can just kind of start, I think believe it's tapping block three times. And well, then like holding down or something? Or I mean, is, it is it down? Is it just is it down or is it just hold to tap the button? The tutorial is actually really good, but uh, I've not had to do that against the AI much. So yeah, we'll have to take a look at that tutorial. It's really good. I was I was thumbing through it after hearing you talk about it, and oh, that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> that's really good. Uh, maybe one of like the best <laughs> fighting game tutorials ever. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's definitely gonna be up there. Oh. Yeah. Damn it. But as far as as far as it feels, like does this match up with kind of other MKs? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, they've made, they've made some changes here. Okay, what do we got? Down, back, down, forward, square. Yeah. I mean, so you you can't run. Um, cool. oh. It's. Uh, oh. It feels like it's about Ouch. shorter, more impactful combos as opposed to some of you know the, the longer really, like run combos. Yeah, some of these run combos and just like needing you know you, you needed a different type of breaker than than they than they have in this game to to deal with some of that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, some of the uh, jungle combos in the last game were so like exhausting. Why? Just uh, why did you quit? I, main I main only game? hit down once. I swear to God. <laughs> All right. But yeah, so far it seems like, you know, uh, it's a little more neutral combat. You know? I like the collector. He reminds me of somebody. Mm. Who's that? Mm, Scarecrow. I don't see it. From Injustice. Mm. Also made by Netherrealm. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of overlap. Yeah. You know, and, and, and in those know, games, and there was overlap from previous. Yeah, yeah so it's like. Definitely. Now it's gotten to a point where it's like. Who started it first? <laughs> Mortal Kombat or Injustice? Who knows? But yeah, uh, if you're familiar with Injustice 2, you'll, 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 Round one. Collector will seem a little familiar to you if you've played Scarecrow. Ow! Oh, you start with full meter, huh? Yeah. And so that was something from the beta or, or from the reveal event when I saw it the first time that has changed uh, back to how they had it in previous games is the Amplify, like the doing the EX version of the move, the meter burn version, whatever yeah. you want to call it, is just R1. Uh, it was all, yeah. it was unique per move before, uh, which was a, a weird system. One thing I'll say- Oh I, God. Yeah, uh, oh. he's got a lot of arms Oh and Jesus. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. How are you okay? It's fine. <laughs> See, it's fine. <laughs> oh. Nope. So if I whiff that, I get another shot at it in like five seconds. Yeah, that's kind of uh, cool. You, you can only land one per match, uh, but and so it goes away when it lands, not when you whiff it. Right. Which is neat. Ooh. Oh, I have a little projectile deflection if I remember how to do it. Ouch. Goodness. <laughs> well, something I... I you guys will have to let me know if this is indicative of all Mortal, or if this was in other Mortal Kombat's, but uh, for combos, like I, very basic combos, this guy has like a down forward and then like square, triangle, circle, X. Yeah. You just kind of mash those four buttons out as fast as you can. Yeah, and the combo and will the happen. the combo will happen. Totally. Is that kind of always an MK thing? Pretty much. At uh, least for yeah. the past couple of games. Um, yeah, look it up. Back forward, back triangle. Oops. So it's, it's it's really friendly in that respect, you know. There's a big input buffer, yeah. you know. But there are some and cases where you want to delay because you're waiting for a juggle to, to line up and sure. and stuff like that. So all right, I'm back in. Ow, dude. Sub Zero. These look really good. These look fantastic. They're gruesome. I, yeah. I think even some of the the fatal blows are just like so over the top. Uh, did, have you find yourself getting like sick of him, or no? Like after a while, like you know, they and last I wonder, a little uh, while. They, right? have, they have to be, yeah. They, they last a while, and I wonder how that'll work in, in you know, in, in tournament, tournament play sense. because like you never really saw X rays in tournament play because people it was one meter, so people were using the meter for other things, um, and you know now it's like if you're down on health, you're going to get that as well as your other you know your other options. So mm -hmm. it's I'll, I'll be curious. See if that's like okay. 
everyone just look away from the screen for five or six seconds while this thing goes down. I really right. like the little simulated fight. Yeah, it's, yeah. That's a nice touch. This game is full of a lot of little nice touches like that, I think, uh, you know. One would say, yeah, it's got uh, a lot the, of polish. Yeah, I mean, when you think about, like, yeah, the, the game is, is, I think the gameplay is pretty different. Uh, but in terms game? of modes and offerings and stuff like that, uh, it's it's pretty much exactly what you expect. It's, you know, living towers mm -hmm. and, and all that stuff, you know, the lobby-based uh, online stuff and King of the Hill and, and, you know, like a lot of that same stuff is here. Why is um, Bub Bumblebee in the Axel prison? Uh, they're turning all the ninjas into robots. Oh god. These games have incredible sound effects. Oh, oh my oh, ouch. I feel like that would hurt. Round two. Getting punched in the head four times by a man with metal arms? That would probably be unpleasant. Oh! Oops, I don't, I'm out of heat. Does this have any of those, um, like, environmental interactive things? Yes. Uh, yeah, you'll see the R1 icon up here, kind of below the life meter here and there when there's an interactable thing. Okay. I want to be over here. Mm -hmm. Show you some of the stage stuff. All right, I'm ready for the stage stuff. There we go. Through one cool. of those, and there's another one. Oh. There was an ice ball. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, I gotta look it up. Yeah. Oh. There been a grappler in these games. Four down, they, kind of in this one. Uh, let's see, four down, four X. Okay. Four down, four X. What? Mm. Got her. Uh, what? Whoa, she's. I gotta let dead. you know, my my thumbs don't respond yeah. like they used to. All right. Rush off some of the uh, other modes. Yeah. Let's, let's get into the rest of it. Um, that was fun. It's got brutalities, it's got fatalities, it has mercies, and I don't know if there's anything that you can do. Like, mercies were done, and it was a way to do animalities back in 3. Yeah. Uh, so have, you, have you seen that done? What, I've, I've like? had a mercy done to me, but <laughs> okay. I've not done one. Uh, yeah, the AI did it. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Yeah, same type deal. You know, you get a little bit of health back and, okay. and go. Um, so let's get into the tutorial real quick. Yeah, um, this is this is really cool. Some, you know, it's got it's got training, it's got fatality training, which is just like, hey, do the fatalities, which is yep, like a fun stand in this spot. Thing. See, I could have used that. Um, <laughs> but this tutorial stuff is actually pretty cool. Starts out with really basic stuff, um, but gets into okay, how does block Yo. damage work? You have a short hop, so they have you train through that. Um, you know, different like get up stuff. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, so that's, that's one of the new. ways you use the defensive meter is uh, some, some options about how you get up. You can you can roll uh, forward or back. Mm -hmm. You can also get up with an attack. There are two different attacks. One of them is usually invincible. Yeah. Sounds like another fighting game I really like. Get up attack. There. Roll in, in directional rolls. Mm -hmm. So I can just pop up nice. out of that. Um, and you see she flashed so that Usually means that you have a. That's not the vulnerable one. This or that. It's, it's armored, but yeah, this. Right. Uh, this one's the Ooh. invulnerable one. Cool. Um, and then hey, you know, oops, screw that up. Hi. Oh. Hmm. I'm really screwing this up. Yeah. 
Speaking oh, of other fighting games you like, uh, <laughs> yeah. this does the thing that that fighting game does also, where in the demos, it makes noises for the button presses. What? Listen. You hear it? There's an audio cue. Little clicks. I see, I can't tell what's just a Mortal Kombat okay. sound effect in that. There, there you go. go. Finally timed it right. Uh, if you mess it up a few times, actually, I have it as a tip that'll show up in the corner, which have a few of those have actually been pretty useful. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some of the. We'll go back to the uh, tutorial menu here. Because that, that timing thing is something that Tekken did for its 10 hit strings. Yep. Okay. And it was like it would play little tones that were different for each button. Yeah. And so this does that, which is like I have wanted more fighting games to do that for a really long time. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so it gets into just like, hey, what, yeah. you know, what the fuck is frame Show data? Show that anatomy of a move yeah. one. This one is good because it's just, it is literally like, here's what the fuck frame data means. Yeah. Um, I heard you talking to Jason about this and you kind of mentioned like, yeah, it just broke down what a frame trap is, which is something I have done, but ne didn't necessarily know what it right. was. Yeah. Um, there are 60 frames in one second. Great. Yeah, I mean, like, if you... If you yeah, want to know That's pretty good. how to play a fighting game, it's often so intimidating because people will throw around terms but not be able to quite uh, explain it. Mm -hmm. And right. the games don't always do... Well, the games never do a job explaining it. Yeah, this is... They take a very light-handed approach to kind of easing you into you know, some of this... This stuff. Like, it's enough to, like, crack the shell a little bit. Yeah. You know? Like, a lot of the stuff is so impenetrable, but if they can get in and just, like, open you up a little bit, that's all it needs, man. It's gonna get inside you, infect you. Gross. Yep. Uh, uh, if you go to move list, well, we'll oh, do yeah, it Oh, yeah, we'll do it the next one, yeah. And, and this is something they did in Mortal Kombat X, but yeah, the move list actually shows all the frame information. I'm Yeah, they, they really surface level a lot of that stuff. Um, it's it's pretty cool. I, I, like, really, I saw one that was called like dealing with zoners, <laughs> but like you know the concept of like hit confirm, yeah, and and that sort of stuff. Like they they're smart about it, um, you know. And then in, so they teach you the get up stuff here, but then down here it's like, hey, here's when you might want to use it, or here's how to deal with it if someone is doing. Like it here's to how you. to bait it, or, right? You know. Yeah, uh, and and that's neat. Uh, and then they get into some character specific stuff that is. This stuff's actually pretty straightforward. It's usually just like, hey, here are some of the moves, but also like, hey, here's why you might yeah. want to do them. That's what I really liked when I was going um, through these. And I feel like, yeah, like that that type of theory is something they don't always cover. It's like, hey, here's how to do the move. Good luck. But yep. here's like, hey, this is good for this. Is it like it, it'll break down like this is a move that has a high recover, like a quick startup, but a high recovery, and like, look, yeah, this is safe on block. Yeah. Or, I guess it's generally about Cassie. Yeah. But yeah, look, anti air. They kind of highlight the terms too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is an anti air, quick startup, a lot of active frames, it's high, unsafe on block. Up glow. The only bummer about this is it, uh, something that kind of a lot of modern mission modes will do is leave you in the, the, the current mission until you're ready to move on, so you can just yeah. keep practicing the move over and over again. Where no, just, like, yeah, just one, moves on one. immediately, yeah. I mean, you know, that said, it, it's still, I think, one of the best, like, tutorial training modes that I've, totally. that I've seen. It's yeah. up there with, like, Eunice and Skullgirls, as far as I'm concerned. Sure. Oops. Okay. Amplify that shit. Mm-hmm. Wait a second, how's this one? Who's Jackie so. Briggs? Jax's daughter. <gasps> you don't say. Remember the combat kids from the last game? Nope. Okay. <laughs> so here's the case, well, since this is a combo, maybe the demo will be a little more. You hear the button clicks there? I do. Look at the icon of the controller, Ben. Seeing it. 
hearing it. Did you hear no. that click? Okay. No. I can I'm hear hearing it. a dit 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 right there. Are, are your <laughs> headphones right? Yeah, yes. We can move on. <laughs> I can, okay. I'm not I can hear gonna it, get it. I'm not. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. The other fighting game I was talking about was Smash. So. Okay, well, I don't know what that is. That's not a fighting game. Some weird shit. Flow burst. Keep yeah, so I, yeah, this, this stuff is, is neat. Uh, it's nice that they wrote some things about these moves. Uh, mm -hmm. It's effective. And you can unlock costumes that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it, it's easy to complete. Uh, also, there are announcers yeah. in this, uh, so you can unlock like the Shao Kahn announcer pack by do, doing those, I guess. That's pretty cool. Um, or, or by completing all the tutorials, and then there's a... It's either Cetrion or Chronica that I think you get for like playing the mobile version of the game, the mobile game or whatever the fuck it is. Mm -hmm. um, How's the story been? Did it's I been good. So the story is all about time travel. Um, oh boy. You know what, let's do the story last, so if, if people don't want to see it, they can turn it off. Oh, sure. um, uh, let's see here. What about towers and stuff? Yeah, let's... Uh, you can customize the characters. Yeah. This is something they've been doing for a couple of games now. Um, and they've kind of got another another new way to do it um, that kind of just gives you all of the moves right out of the gate. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll do Liu Kang here. I started on a Liu Kang, but oh, cool. name okay. it. Um, so yeah, you have your default variations, and you see it does you know different gear, different abilities, um, but also you can set the intros and victories and stuff like that. That's yeah. pretty cool. Uh, you'll unlock different bits of gear. This is just cosmetic, um, but the gear can have augments on them. That's a system I'm still trying to figure out a little bit because it's a little. I've only unlocked like one augment. I have a bunch of augments, but none of them match the slots I've opened up. Oh, so great. you see, it says like gain five thousand experience, and that'll open up a socket for you to put one of those gems in. But the socket have types and the gems have types. Mm -hmm. And so like I have a gem that's for a scorpion's katana, but I haven't, the slots I've unlocked on the katana I'm using are not a match. What kind of boosts are these gems? Uh, so let's hit manage you? augments here. Here's one, you inflict 3% additional damage if you fight second. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and you see that says for, that's for AI battle. So that's not something you're taking into online fights or anything like that. Right. Um, but it's, hey, it's a bonus to poison resist and a bonus to damage. That's crazy. Um, and I think I have some more scorpion ones, so maybe we'll go look at those augments after we're, we're done here. Okay. Um, so you, you have basically three customizable things on each character, you know, different, different nunchucks, uh, different bracers. I like to trick out my chucks. Yeah. I like that. I like those ones. Oh yeah. Um, How do you pronounce that? And then in cosmetics, you'd have straight up skins. And there's a lot. Yeah. Uh, oh um, yeah. They can change pretty significantly. And since yeah, well yeah, since the since the game deals in time travel, you're right. getting kind of the MK2 era versions of these characters traveling forward through time into right. this timeline. And so uh, I've got Revenant Liu Kang, but also yo, it's just Liu Kang. Yo. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, so there's, you know, you get these these different versions. It's like, hey, here's here's the Liu Kang you're used to seeing. That's my Liu Kang. Uh -huh. But then also, That's what if he was wearing a sick jacket. He's like Thriller Liu, yeah. Liu Kang. Han Solo Liu Kang. Yeah. Uh, Eddie Murphy Raw Liu Kang. Mm -hmm. Tad it up. Ooh. Liu Kang. Went down a bad, bad road. Yeah. Whoa, black light tattoo. Ooh. Very cool. Yeah. Extremely cool. Um, you'll unlock intros, and this is stuff that you like will get. How are you getting those costumes? So it says here, it, it actually just says like what the unlock requirements are for right. all these items, which is nice. So this is this will show up in the towers. Okay. Uh, so some of the, the the tower rewards, it'll say specifically like, hey, you'll get this skin if you do this. Mm -hmm. um, and so and then some of them are in the crypt and and so on and so forth. Usually usually it's either in the crypt or in the towers. Right. Uh, oh, they have a rarity associated with them. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then it'll show you what fatalities. So the, this is kind of a weird one because it says like you haven't unlocked this fatality. That just means that the motion to do it is not on the move list until you find it in the crypt. But you can uh, still if, do it. If you know the motions, if you go to the, the internet and look them up, you can still do them. I can do that. Uh, Maybe. What if I wanted to uh, spend a little money to do a fatality? 
Um, so I, I, the store's not up yet as of this recording, so I don't know how that's going to go, but it does seem to have easy fatality tokens. It does. Uh, like the previous game did, which I, I'm not a fan of. Uh, then you have abilities. This is what we're actually here for. So you have three slots, and then there's just a bunch of moves. Injustice 2 had some gear that would that would come with moves, or, or, or no, it was you would unlock the abilities. Yep. But you had to find them. Here, it's just here you go. Yep. Uh, you can create your variation on this stuff, and some of them have. So you see this one down here. It says conflicts with energy parry. So I can't use energy parry and nunchaku stance because mm -hmm. it like takes over the, the same motion. Yeah, it's the same motion. Okay. Um, and then that like that dragon's gift one, you need dragon fire, and then it's like an upgraded version of exactly. It. Yeah. And then also some of them just take up two spots. So yeah. you saw one that took up three. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. You know, I want the low fireball because that, I think Liu Kang should have a low fireball, so I gave him the low fireball. Yeah. You know? uh, and, and so you're, you're building your, your variants that way. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty cool. It does mean that if you're playing a character, like, you know, if you're playing a variant that you're not aware of because you're just kind of going into versus mode and fucking around, like, there's definitely cases where it's like, I don't know which moves this scorpion has. I know what the array of scorpion moves are, but I have the three that I like, and so I just want to play that variant. And only that variant. Uh, then you have AI behavior. It has AI battles like Injustice 2 did. Um, and you can build an AI team and have them fight each other. And so you can kind of determine, like, okay, how do you how do you want them to play? Right. And so you mentioned, the, like, the items with the stat buffs don't go into online, but you can carry these variations just in general? Yeah. So, like, if I wanted my certain skill set, I right. could have that locked in for and, online. And there are, I think there are some... Augments that do go into online, but maybe not ranked. Mm. So I, that's, that's kind of the maybe they're like experience boosts and stuff, yeah, rather yeah. than like damage boosts. It, it, it probably is something like that. Um, so okay, here's one where like yeah, I've got an augment slot open, but I don't have any crystal augments. Um, okay. You can reroll the sockets. So actually, I'm gonna do this. All right. Because I want to try to get. I know I have a, a katana. Nope, those. That's not it either. Damn it! You can re-roll it again. All right, let's just look at the augments here. So, so yeah, this one hmm. appears to work all the time. It just gives you nine percent more soul fragments, which is a currency. You know, it's not not anything too meaningful. Right. Um. And yeah, same type deal. Costumes, all that stuff. Scorpion's got some good ass costumes. Oh yeah. Oh uh, wow. I want this one. How do you get it? Oh, find the tower. It's in the tower. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so on. So the, the variation stuff, you know, it's it's a it is a variation on a theme of of them doing the variants now for their last what two games? Yep. Um, yeah, give or take. And uh, I think it's a, a cool way to handle that stuff. It seems to be fleshed out really well. Yeah. Um, let's see. Classic Towers is like arcade mode. You get an ending at the end of it. The endings are, are character specific, but they're not great. Like the story mode is where all the kind of cinematic yeah. like work went. So the endings here are a little yeah, stiff. Yeah, they're kind of throwaway. Um, I, I, I played through a couple and yeah, they're not, yeah. They're, they're not great. Yeah, Towers of Time is uh, an online mode. Uh, well, it is a mode that pulls variations from the internet, I guess oh, I should say. Not necessarily oh, okay. you playing against other people, uh, but this is like the multiverse stuff from Injustice yes. 2. Yeah. Um, the Living Towers from from the previous games, from previous uh, Mortal Kombat's, and so this is stuff where some of these you need to spend a currency to unlock them. Like if we can open up the character specific tower mm -hmm. and play on it, um, but there's also just you know these these ones are on timers. Um, they also have this race against time thing here. So once a week you get rewards based on how many points you score in the towers. And so I'm right now in top 50%. So Hell if yeah. the timer expires and I stay there, I get those gold, those things. But if I get in the top 5%, there's a scorpion skin. Oh, oh man, that would be so frustrating and if you didn't get it. There's only 17 hours left oh. in this one, so I could just try to crank it out because the, the game's not out yet, so it might yeah. be a little easier to do it. This is like the only time you could probably yeah. realistically yeah, get maybe, that. Maybe. Um, let's see. Why don't we just... We'll go into this one here. Okay, we did final exam lesson one. Okay. So the towers uh, will often 
give you like variations. Um, yeah. Or, or, or uh, you know, Sweet. like. Question. Oh, yeah. it's gone. Why was an extra credit spelled with a K? You know, it's they. They get it right most of the time. <laughs> I feel like they should have just a dedicated on staff person to look at every yeah. word in the game. To well, see I bet they do, C. and I bet they those that person probably makes some judgment calls here and there. It's like, no, credit should just be a C. Let's not let's not be weird here. But there's a the currency called credits with a K. Well, this character could be Ketrion. The elder gods are gone. They're not the source of my power. <laughs> The Nether Realm is next, Scorpion. Wow, she looks really different, though. Mm. I like this stage a lot. Yeah, this is very cool. Nope. Yeah, sometimes they'll have uh, dragon challenges, which will pop up, and they'll give you like little mini challenges to complete during the fight, like duck three times, or use four kicks, or stuff like that, and you'll get, you know, Bonus points and score for completing this. Why is it not? Oh, I burned. Oh, I moved no meter. That's why. <laughs> oh, I wonder if that's like the. That must be the thing. The the variate the variant here is that I have zero meter. Ouch. The thing I don't. Oh, that's cool. Like about those moves and the fatalities is they automatically take a character's mask off. If they are a masked character, okay. uh, like, and then it just miraculously reappears oh, after the move is over. Because gotcha. it, that's something that customizes based yeah. on the skin and stuff like that. So it's like, they just kind of just say, ah, well, we're going to make it go through his eyeballs and you're going to see it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. It's a minor thing, but like, it's, it's just... Ooh. Yes. How did he not hit her spine? He's very careful. Yeah, to go around, yeah. Fatality. So that'd be a case of like, if that was Sub-Zero and he was wearing a mask, he would not be wearing a mask here because they need to show that going through his mouth. And so they, they kind of fudge some of the some of the cosmetic stuff for the yeah. fatal blows and fatalities. Yeah. Um, like, it's all rendered at like 30 frames per second too, the fatalities. Mm. Uh, here you can also use consumables. This is stuff that you're unlocking or just like getting all over the place. Uh, I've yet to use one outside of um, the tutorial that forces you to use them. Mm -hmm. Um... And, and it's weird because sometimes, like, the modifier will be like, hey, we're going to shoot a bunch of blood missiles that steal your health while you fight. And you're like, okay, well, I should find which whichever one of these nullifies blood attacks mm -hmm. and just use oh, yeah. that. Mm -hmm. um, so it really seems like they've just built counters into this system in a way. But some of them are offensive. Like, you know, sometimes like, okay, well, I, I can... It's like the spirit system in uh, Ultimate. Sort of, yeah. Except some of them are more active, like tap the right stick to summon someone who runs in and does a move and leaves. Or, or tap the right stick this way to fire a missile of your own. Um, and and little things like that. I say, yeah, you see here, summon Kung Lao to assist during the fight. Um, <laughs> and, and stuff like that. I, you know, <laughs> it's weird when they kind of build the, the things that are working against you with like the idea of just like, hey, you should just have the right consumable to nullify this stuff. Uh, and and that's always I don't know that especially if consumables are something do you think know if that's something you can buy I, I my guess is that you'll be able to buy a currency that you could turn into those yeah. or something um, but you you get like I said I, I got all those consumables after like three or four hours of play uh, mm -hmm. you're, you're kind of getting them all over the place um, and we'll go in the crypt a little bit here and probably get a bunch more stage looks pretty great too have you been able to play online much no not at all okay. um, yeah I'm, uh, I'm I'm hopeful for the net code I feel like uh, you know they rolled out that new net code for XL is that what the, when they ran the online beta yeah totally and yeah they've been running a couple betas for you know for this game as well yeah and uh, those have you know stood up pretty well I've heard 
you know? Yeah. It's all anecdotal, but, you know. Whoa. I've had good experience with it. I've, I've heard people having good experiences with it, so. I'm hopeful. Uh, we'll see how the lobbies hold up, though. But. I think this does have, like, up to eight-person lobbies. I think I read. That's but, usually what they do with, like, yeah. their King of the Hill mode stuff. Oh. <laughs> Mind games. Oh, I think I just drained out. Oh, wow. Round two, fight. Oh, that's cool. I hear the crowd in the background. Yeah. Rad. So there you did the, the breakaway that kind of basically gives you armor and it's like a fast fall. Mm -hmm. So you still take damage from the hits, but you're falling out of the air faster so you're not as susceptible to juggles. To juggles. Final round, fight. What other announcers have you seen? Shao Kahn and the classic guy, I suppose? There's th this one is the, is the standard one, I think. Okay. Shao Kahn is an unlockable. Um, I don't know why you'd ever want anything but the classic one. Man. I think it's kind of cool that they're like, uh... I, I remember having a conversation with someone who worked on Mortal Kombat years ago. I forget what the context was. But I, I think I was asking, like, hey, you know, you ever think about it having, like, a, like a, a female announcer? I think that would be, like, a cool mm -hmm. sound. Uh, and the answer was, like, yeah, we've, you know, we've talked about it on and off. So I, I think this is the first one that, you know, it's, it's, it's an optional thing. But, mm -hmm. um, but I want that this is the first time they've done it. Uh, oh, wow. Fight. I love those different inflections. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's that's yeah. That's um, so yeah, there's one of these you get for linking to the mobile version. Uh, you get an announcer. Oh, okay. Um, and okay. then there's one for that. completing all the tutorials. I think those are the Shao Kahn ones for completing all the tutorials. Okay. And I think it's Satrion, or it's it might, it's Chronica. It's Chronica, mm. actually. Um, anyway, oh, I would like Johnny Cage, you know. Yeah, like something. you know, I, I, cool. that's, that's certainly not the first game to do. Yeah, uh, like a lot of there's pack a lot stuff, of anime, lot of anime games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so learning from anime fighters. Right. Uh, that's what they've done. Um, I guess probably we'll go in the crypt and then we'll check out the story. Mm -hmm. Uh, the crypt has been in these games for a while, and it's a way for you to go around and unlock stuff. You spend all the currency you're earning in all these fights, um, opening chests, and it's become more game-like as time has gone on. Totally. Uh, and now it's just straight up, I'm in third person running around, what the heck? looking around, doing stuff, uh, which is way more elaborate than the, the crypt has been time. before. Yep. Um, but it's the same basic idea of like, hey, here's a chest, they even give you the coordinates of where you Yeah, exactly. Out. They tell you the coordinates. They tell you what time it is because that's all stuff that matters. Mm -hmm. um, and the stuff typically isn't random. Right. But you don't know what you're going to get once you're... And unless you're, you're reading a fact that says yep. go to 2279,814 and exactly. you'll find Scarlet's Brutality. Yep. Um, uh, I'm... And I can swing this hammer whenever I want so I can, I can just bust this fucking pot open and get some extra coins. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got an inventory. A lot of these I got playing the story mode. Really? So because like the sh the Shao Kahn one I got just by walking around. Yeah, that's you find that early on. Yeah. Um, but like some of this stuff, uh, so it seems like by playing the story mode, you will find items that you then use to, you know, advance in the crypt and get to different areas. Yeah. Yeah. There's a forge in here that you can use to forge items. Huh. Uh, there's a Way to reverse time and relock the chests you've opened to put new things in them. Oh, weird. Which is, okay. yeah, because normally it'd be like you clear out the crypt and that's that. Yeah, right. uh, you You got the fatalities, you got the art, you got all that stuff. Um, you just got one coin for desecrating yeah. a skeleton's corpse. Well, you know, it's, it's sending a, they're sending the right message there. You shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. That's a little tip, a little thank you. Go in there. I, I don't know, I, I can't. Hit it with your hammer. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't work. It didn't work You'd out. think that Shao Kahn's it's hammer. Fucking it's Shao fucking Shao Kahn's, Kahn's, Kahn's hammer. hammer. You do bust down some walls and doors and stuff with it. Yeah. Uh, pretty early on, and it's it's satisfying. All right, so we got a skin and an augment. That's cool. Uh, yeah, that's cool. 
That's, that's the stuff you want. Like a lot of them are just like, here's some consumables, and I'm like, fuck. Yeah, consumables or some some fucking art. I'm like, okay, that that's stuff great. I wish skin. I could. Yeah, I just wish I could just buy this stuff like outright. Like I earn the coins. And then I go to like an in-game store and I buy the fucking skin that I see. Want. I think because you know, like eventually, from looking at the trophies and stuff, eventually it seems like you'll get like a scorpion spear and you can like spear these bodies and like there's just a bunch of That's weird crazy. shit in here. Yeah. Um, and I like that aspect of it. Like you're right. I, I kind of you know like I could go for a more straightforward way to just get the skins I want. Yep. But uh, but at the same time, I would prefer. To I like that there's weird mystery in this thing. Yeah. I get that. I'd, I'd, I would just prefer to, like, spend my hard-earned coin with a K, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't have any items to... I had three items, and I, I combined them and then got a different consumable, and I was pretty bummed out. Because I think there are some, like, gear items that you have to forge here to unlock. Interesting. Have you found any, like, you know... So in the last one, there were, like, traps and stuff, and sometimes... Like spiders would jump out at you and shit. Do heights frighten you? If so, no, I haven't found anything like that yet. No spiders. Mind the edge. Huh. Fall, and you will be impaled on the spikes below. I get it. Okay. All right. I remember old Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah. So this oh, is, there it is this is Shang Tsung's island. So oh shit. Like this is oh, kind shit. of Mortal Kombat one where it took place. That's cool. It's the last boss from Armageddon. Yeah. I wonder if you come here at the right time or something, you can see the shadows yeah. flying past the moon or something, <laughs> if, if there is some kind of... There's got to be. So I don't, I don't have whatever item I need to actually cross this gap. I assume that's what that does. Mm -hmm. But that's cool. Got to play more Storm, though. Yeah. Huh. There's fighting out there. Yeah. Forever. Who's fight? Who is that? Hornbuckle! I don't know. That classic, yeah, MK character. Oh well, Hornbuckle. okay. Uh, all right, I open that up. I don't know what that does. Cool. <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah, I, I don't know. I, I've thought the I thought the crypt stuff in in X was really well done, and this is like a more elaborate version of that. Mm -hmm. um, It's pretty cool. You're getting some cool stuff. Yeah, I'm actually getting good things yeah. for once. Uh, okay. Now that I'm venturing a little further away from the start. I went through, opened up like 10 chests, I maybe got like one skin. This was all like consumables and art. Yeah. It was a bummer. Again, yeah. there's a trophy for... Donate coins? No, man. There's a trophy. What, it starts at 1,000? Yeah. Are you kidding me? I think there's a trophy for doing 60,000. Okay. But that's most of our money. Do it. Do it. Yep. Give me that. Better be something good. They just give you the money back. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, you I see? got that trophy at least. You see? It's that kind of shit, man. That bums me out. Ugh. Yep. <laughs> All right, we're almost out of money. So let's. Oh wait. Let's, oh hey. I like that they stop and point out like. <gasps> fuck. Uh oh. They point out like, hey, this is that stage from the video game. Yeah. From a long, very long time ago. Yeah, that is pretty cool. This shrine is where I fought Liu Kang. This is Shang Tsung talking, right? Yeah. Uh, voice of the actor yep. from the movie. Yep. Uh, Carrie? Uh, I forget. Soaring mistaken. Ooh. Can you hit that meteor? There's something at the statue. Oh, yeah. Gem of the Living. Is that just on here? Yeah, Gem of the Living. Seems to be crafted the, to fit a specific lock or room. door. Okay. Go up to the Raiden statue again. There was a... There was a prompt uh, to your right. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. That's nice of you. You know, I care. You got to pray. Okay, that's another key item. What does that do? The staff. Seems to, sp you know, every, <laughs> everything just opens another thing. Yep. Right? right? I mean... 
Okay, there's no prompt for the other ones. I guess it is just Raiden. Okay. Uh, nope. Anyway. Why don't we get out of the crypt and do story mode and then call yeah, it. Yeah, I want to see it. I haven't seen any of the Call it a quick yet. look. Uh... Yeah, the story mode's fun. Uh, you know, the, the Mortal Kombat 9 story mode was really cool because it was a retelling of the events you were familiar with from the first three, three games. Mm -hmm. And it was fun in the ways in which, in which it was different because of all their time travel stuff. Mortal Kombat X was less fun and it was, you know, it was about the new characters and, and the, the new fights they were fighting and stuff. And it was a little more serious and sure. was not as nostalgic in nature. This one feels like a merging of the two, where it's got those characters and the tone of like, hey, shit is shit is real. Hmm. There's some bad shit happening. But then also, one of the first things that happens is a time portal is open and, and a bunch of characters from MK2 era Mortal Kombat come through and are fucking goofballs. And they're just like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. So it's a lot, it's like a bunch of characters going like, wait, what are you, Scorpion and Sub-Zero are friends now? What the fuck is going on? Oh, weird, okay. Um, and, and so it, like that's, that's interesting. Uh, or it's it's been fun uh, to see that stuff. So I'm actually trying to think uh, of what to show off. Yeah, not just the beginning. Or okay, no, not just the beginning because I think that stuff's been. I want to play the the Scorpion and Sub Zero stuff. I'm trying to think like what's actually like goofy, and it's like the stuff with the fucking '90s Johnny Cage in it. Honestly, oh but, I'm sure. Uh, Oh, okay. So, it, it, like in Justice Two, they have you pick characters in some cases. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can kind of. Of course, cool. like checked off. Okay. okay, so I want to do Scorpion, Sub Zero, Scorpion, Scorpion. If we're gonna play this chapter again. All right. You Shaolin monks succeed your reputation. I respect your spirit. But Kronika's will must be done. So the core of the story is that Raiden's been fucking with the timeline. God since, damn it. The Again? since the beginning of MK9, God damn it. Uh, he has been fucking with the timeline. And Kronika is the keeper of time, and she's pissed about all this. Well, sure. And she is apparently above the Elder Gods, and her whole thing is like, uh, Raiden sucks. <laughs> He's really fucked up a lot of shit. I'm going to make a new time where there's no Raiden. Hmm. And so she's... Harsh. Yeah. But eh, fair. But here she is. Why does she look like Frieza? Uh, it's anime. It's anime fighters influence okay. announcers okay. Yeah, it's, a whole, it's a whole thing if they die their revenant selves will cease to exist we need them to defend the keep it's kind of like Frieza and Cooler with those shoulder pads mm. yet again Liu Kang you've chosen the wrong destiny boop his nose okay that was weird. Um, and so she's amassing this army Ooh. of characters from across time and all this other stuff. And it, everyone seems very gullible for her scheme because it just seems like she's just promising everyone like, hey, when the new era starts, I'm going to make it better for you. Mm -hmm. And they're all like, fucking awesome. Great. I, I love it better. Well, I mean, at this no point, one would ever double cross me. At this point, Shao Kahn has gotten his ass kicked so many times that maybe he's just looking for anything at this point. Yeah. So, so I mean, that's, that's kind of the thing is like, you know, you have Shao Kahn has been warped forward decades in time to a time in which he's dead. <laughs> and so he's just like, what the fuck? Wait a minute. I'm <laughs> Shao motherfucking Kahn. <laughs> they just hanging out. Yeah, we didn't know what to do, so we were just practicing our karate. Yeah. Control of history from her. If we succeed, our destiny can change. You sound like a we doof. Were is true. You were involved in our deaths. Yes. What? The timeline continued. My decisions would have led to your deaths, but the elder gods assure me that such a future is not inevitable. This is but one of many possible timelines. Man. That is a lot to take on faith. <laughs> Rest assured, Kung Lao. I am aware now of what may come. I will not bring harm to either of you. But see, that's the thing, is him being like loosely aware of what may come is what right. fucked up everything to begin with. <laughs> so, it, yeah. As fast as we can muster before all is lost. It's been fun seeing the character interactions and all that stuff, and also just like... It, what have you learned it's well made. Effect on Earth realm? We're tracking sites around the globe with major temporal anomalies. 
Picture's still fuzzy. Our kid's something, isn't she? I see no pattern so Oh, Cage. I'm not your Sonia. Sorry. Too easy to forget. We've prioritized Aww. info that correlates to still the tattoo. With time anomalies. Yeah, I would assume so. But we have more to work. There are skins where in which he has the tattoo for okay. sure. Great. Grandmaster Sub Zero reports heavy losses to his Lin Kuei clan. The time merger has resurrected his old enemy, Sector. Sector? Was he not the Grandmaster who years ago enslaved? Even if I was in the middle of this shit, I would not be able to say all that shit with a straight face. <laughs> Same factory he built to convert the Lin Kuei into cyber killing machines. Undoubtedly, to construct new and more powerful cyber Lin Kuei. Kronika may seek to co opt them. What of Sub Zero? Already on his way to shut down the factory. Grandmaster Hasashi is going with him. Grandmaster Hasashi? Hanzo Ooh. Hasashi? <laughs> Like a little crash zoom there. Yeah. They're like, wait a minute, what the fuck is Scorp- Wait, hang on, that's Scorpion, right? <laughs> a snake motherfucker. Yeah, he's some he's a real fucking solid snake ass <laughs> motherfucker in this chapter. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying this. Even with no real reverence for the yeah. franchise, this just seems fun and goofy. This is infinitely better than the endings that you get <laughs> yeah. in the tower. Your hearing is failing, Sub-Zero. I recognized your footsteps, Hanzo. Where's Sector? I smell. will not let him threaten my clan again. The old Cyber Lin Kuei factory was defunct. See, the old Cyber Lin Kuei factory. <laughs> Where they were, t where they turned ninjas uh, into robot ninjas. A <laughs> grandpa lost his leg at the old cyborg mm. Lin Kuei factory. <laughs> well, we're gonna get vengeance for him here. I can see why you need me. We could enter through that tunnel. We'll just go into the first fight, and you know, it's it's exactly what it always has been. You know, it's, it's cool seamlessly transition transitions into, into the fights. Mm -hmm. It's you know. <laughs> and the rest of your plan. We get help on the inside. Just hope that somebody in there will help you out, or...? Yeah. Okay. Listen, nice. dude, I'll give you 40 bucks if you help us take down the Lin Kuei factory. <laughs> I'm a robot. <laughs> give you 40 megabytes. Into it. <laughs> Just the extended shot of them running. <laughs> yeah. Can I... let's just get to the fight here. Uh, let's do some, Scorpion. Some, some, Hell Cyrex. I'll discipline your formal pupil. I should have killed you the day Sub-Zero oh, cool. Frost. you to our temple. You tried and failed. Not I haven't seen her in action yet. Now, yeah. you die. Fight. Ah! First hit props. Oh, he, see, 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 he does not have the variations that I use oh, when I'm sure. playing. Oh. Uh, flawless block. She did a couple there. That's uh, oh, yeah. if you if you do like a frame perfect block, you take way less block damage. Mm -hmm. There's also weird follow ups that you can do afterwards. Yeah. Kind of like the the uh, wake up moves. Yeah, right. Oh. Stand there waiting to take it. <laughs> Oops. Sub-Zero can decide your fate. So you would have fought him if no, it, chose Sub-Zero? No, it, it, you oh. choose who it goes into that fight. So it would have been oh, Sub-Zero gotcha. saying, like, I'll handle Frost, you go fight Cyrax. Um, so it's more or less the same thing, yeah. just slightly different, you know. A great Cyrax. Is this Kronika's doing? To her service, Sub-Zero. We defend Kronika as she rewrites. And that's Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah, man. Um, Continuing to, to raise the bar. Totally, um, yeah. It's, uh, 
Like I said, it, it's very familiar stuff if you've uh, played any of the last few NetherRealm games. Sure. Um, this totally seems like, you know, dollar for dollar, if you're looking for a fighting game that is going to entertain you both, like, it, you, I, I, I could see people just buying this game, playing through the story and some of the tower stuff and having a great time. Absolutely, yep. yeah. Uh, yeah, like if, yeah this, this seems like if you're not necessarily going to be some competitive fighting game player, like there's still a lot here. But maybe you will. But maybe, yeah. Yeah. And then there's yeah. all the customization levels and stuff. Like this is, this just seems like all around one of the most solid fighting game purchases. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very deep package um, for sure. Uh, and then yeah, the the store's not up yet, so I don't I don't know how this is gonna go. But that's a lot of different currency types down there. Oh, yeah. Though that's uh, that's easy fatalities and and fight skips and stuff like that also. So I, I think that that's, you know, uh, not necessarily stuff that you'll. There'll probably be a pack, you know, where you pay twenty dollars mm -hmm. and you get just a shit ton like a one time, time crystals, and then you can spend the time crystals yeah. on different things because yeah. uh, that's that's what that two sixty is there. Well, I have a feeling this isn't the last time we're gonna look at this video game, and maybe we'll have a better idea next time. About yeah, what that's gonna look like. Yeah, for sure. All right, Ben, Jason. Yeah, thanks. See you.